Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The people of Anthem in the Upper Manya Koba district are looking forward to improved education infrastructure as political parties lace their boots for the December elections. According to them, the lack of accommodation in the community is, however, a setback to improved education. Bright Nanamfo reports teachers trek daily to school and this is impacting teaching and learning. Jim is a fishing and farming community. Poverty is rife. Incomes are mainly from farming and fishing and are low. Proper housing is therefore a challenge because families are unable to raise incomes to buy building materials. Education in the upper Manya Krobo district faces challenges, though authorities are working hard to improve teaching and learning. We had had serious problem in terms of infrastructure but we were blessed to have a, a few NGOs especially Plan International that came and had joint venture with the communities. Communities provided land, they provided labor and then uh, structures are put up and so this institution helped in addition to what the district assembly had been doing in putting up a number of structures. I can say that at the moment, almost all our schools have infrastructure that could be described as fairly good. There are challenges. Once a while you have to do some renovation. Once a while you have to do some uh, roofs that are ripped off. At Fantem, Poor housing is impacting negatively on education. District authorities have, however, worked hard to improve some school infrastructure. In collaboration with the Japan Embassy, we have been able to put up a three-unit uh, JHS block at Fantim currently, uh, with a library, staff common room, um, and a toilet facility around it. The intention is that it is going to serve this cluster of communities that I've mentioned because Fantim uh, is central, so that they all commute to attend school there uh, instead of walking to uh, Apinsu, which is uh, quite far from them. However, teachers do not stay in the community, and so trekking daily to school is a routine. This is impacting negatively on teaching and learning. Teachers from Ajeheneke, most of the teachers come from far, some even come from Cape Coast. And when they are posted here, they don't have an accommodation to live in, they will not be able to teach. They might go back. Teachers either get to school late or do not turn up at all when they do not get means of transport to school. The community decided to find ways to change this and started this project. This is their own small way of enhancing teaching and learning at Fantim. This is what their poor incomes could provide. Elders of the community are at a loss as to what to do.